Having a doctor diagnose you with HPV or human papillomavirus can be daunting. But what you may not know is that nearly 80% of sexually active men and women will get the virus at some point in their life. While HPV will clear on its own for most women, up to 20% will develop a persistent infection. Here to help us reduce stigmas and create awareness are Dr. Stefano Uccella, professor at the University of Verona, Italy, and Meg Sweeney from Lowly Pharma USA. Welcome to you both. Glad to be Thank here. Thank you very much. Doctor, let me start with you. I read here you specialize in gynecologic oncology. Let's talk about just HPV and how serious it can be. HPV can be really serious. It's the most common sexually transmitted viral infection in the U.S. and the same figures are observed in Europe and in my country, Italy. The majority of women do clear the infection by themselves mm -hmm. thanks to the immune response. However, a part of them will develop persistent infection which can cause severe lesions at the level of the cervix and genital wards. If this condition is not adequately screened, managed and treated, uh, they can develop cancer. We have vaccination against HPV that covers against uh, nine strains of the virus, but HPV has more than 100 subtypes and vaccination does not cover against all of them. Women should be aware that's very important uh, to screen themselves against uh, uh, HPV on the basis of HPV testing and pap smear on a routine basis. And I'm so glad we're talking about this, Doctor and Meg. You know, there's just so much, so many stigmas associated with this. I mean, let's be honest, HPV is not just openly discussed every day, right? No, not so at all. So let's talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. I think because HPV is known as a sexually transmitted infection, there are a lot of stigmas associated with it, and that, it's natural. And in fact, there was a study done recently in the U.S. that confirmed this, showing that these stigmas are really driven by fear of social judgment, and rejection. And it makes sense, right? When a woman is diagnosed with HPV, unfortunately, many just assume that she's promiscuous, right. which is a little bit crazy. It is, because it's not the case. Right, right. In fact, scientists know that this particular virus is really robust. That means that it is resistant to drying, to heat, and even to everyday hygiene measures. So the virus can, of course, be transmitted through sexual contact, but it can also be transmitted through other routes. So when women really do understand all of this together, I feel like they can be more empowered, the stigma goes down, and they can seek the care that they need. Doctor, you talked about, um, briefly, a persistent infection. So what are the risks that that poses for someone? The very high prevalence of this infection in the population makes this as a health care problem. We have many treatments against uh, HPV associated lesions but not against the infection. Mm. The infection has to be cleared by the body. Uh, we have two big categories of treatments. Uh, we have demolishing treatments or ablative treatments. We can progress to hysterectomy in some cases for women really frustrated from several years of ineffective treatments but it should not be really uh, the gold standard because when you remove the uterus, the infection can persist even uh, around the, the cervix. This is where Loli comes in. So let's talk about an option here and it really sets you guys apart. There are no FDA approved oral treatments as the doctor mentioned for persistent infections and that's where Pervastop, which is a natural dietary supplement can have an impact. So unlike a lot of other supplements on the market, it is created with a specialized formulation of micronutrients that have been clinically studied. Can you fill us in a little bit more on that research? Because I know yeah. a lot of people want to know. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, I think it's great that people want to be informed. And so in a pilot clinical study, it was shown that at the end, 85% of women had complete clearance of those lesions. Wow and also 85% of women had complete clearance of the virus. The results are really promising. It was shown to be safe, so people can feel comfortable using it. Look at that, that's fantastic. Doctor, you hear that and you say, wow, this is gonna have an impact on a lot of people. Well, natural supplements are becoming an increasing part of medicine, and they have proven to be effective in many fields, even in gynecology, for example, in polycystic ovarian syndrome. Well, in this specific field of HPV infection, we need more studies, of course, but I think that women can have hope uh, 
uh, in this direction, absolutely. That's fantastic. For our viewers who'd like more information, where can they go, Meg? They can go to PurposeStop.com. PurposeStop.com. Doctor, thank you for the information. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. You. And if you'd like more information on any of this, you can go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com. We'll be right back.